science is a hands-on sport, and we recognize that in this college. So for our students to really be competitive and to be relevant, they have to get their hands dirty. So we encourage our students to participate in undergraduate research. Our laboratories are now designed less with cookbook instruction manuals and more with building and design projects. Um, and we also have electives that we feel that will prepare students for future careers. Because we are able to get to know the students and um, you know we have so many small classes, especially lab classes where we get to see them doing things you know, in action, uh, we get to know them pretty well. And when they ask us for letters of recommendation for a job or for graduate school or for whatever they're going to be doing next, um, we can write informed letters. You know, we can say things about their, their skills, but we can also say things about their personality, about their, way, the, their ability to, to work with others, um, things that, that employers and that, that potential major advisors are going to want to know um, that we wouldn't be able to say if we were only teaching them in classrooms of 400 or 500 students. So one of the things that the College of Science and Math does very well is deliver innovative curriculum. So one example of that is we have a biotechnology degree, and that's the combination of a solid base in the sciences, in biology, in chemistry, in physics, in math, as well as going outside of the college and combining that with business. So it's a degree, for example, that allows business and science to merge, and that is delivered through the College of Science and Math. So I think we do a very good job of developing and delivering innovative curriculum that isn't available on other campuses. Our college has a STEM center. It's a fantastic center where students can go, they can discuss science, they can interact with other students, they can talk about real issues in the science world, they can get advice on careers and where they should go. In fact, next Tuesday I'm coming to the STEM center with several other professors in order to talk about careers in science and how can you become a graduate student and how can you go on to become a scientist and perhaps teach someday. One of the things which I think is really great about our campus is that when students get here we will find a way for them to succeed. We have smaller classes, they get to know faculty, and students who might otherwise kind of get lost in the shuffle at a bigger institution or in bigger classes will actually have the chance to make contact with somebody that can work with them and make sure that they understand the material, the expectations, and can do what it takes to succeed in the course. We also have a big emphasis across the College of Science and Math on working across disciplines. So our physics majors also take courses in computer science. Computer science students take some electronics courses with us in the physics department. And there are a lot of other opportunities for collaboration across the disciplines. I think this is really important because when students are out working in the real world, you have to solve whatever problems come to you. You can't pick and choose based on the discipline that you majored in. I guess I would tell a potential student that if they come to Cal State San Marcos, and especially if they're interested in the biological sciences and trying to get hands-on experience in biological sciences, that our university, and specifically our department, provides excellent opportunities for undergraduates. And oftentimes, if you try to do research in a lab at most research one universities, you're going to be washing dishes or you know picking things up. But here, you're actually going to be participating in experiments and you know participating in the critical thinking component of science as well as the day-to-day -day handling of science. 